Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane, and today I want to talk to you about the Screen Bar Plus by BenQ. So what that is, it's this thing that I have up here, which is essentially just a desk lamp. But it's a very clever, and might I say very sexy, desk lamp that works to really help with eye strain when you are working, spending a lot of time in front of a screen like I do. And I sort of have to do a lot of work towards um, YouTube and my creative stuff in an evening when I'm not in the day job. So having a light like this that's not going to cause strain to my eyes is a really welcome addition to my little setup here. So the reason that we're talking about this today is because this was sent to me by a nice lady called Summer at BenQ uh, for the purposes of creating this review video. So that's what we'll do today. So what it does, what it's all about is, as you can see, it's a light bar. It has LEDs inside uh, and these are designed to shoot straight down. So it illuminates this area of your desk. So if I turn that off, you can see the effect that it's having. Uh, turn it back on. There we go. So it does that. And one of the main strengths that that has is that it doesn't create any screen glare at all, which is nice. It also lights your desk up pretty evenly. So obviously in my case, I've got a longer desk. But the area that I'm using, so I need to be able to see my keyboard and all that kind of stuff, I can see really clearly and I'm not getting any kind of spots of light. It's all filled in nicely, which is much easier on the eye. Another feature that I really like about this, uh, because my desk is usually full of crap, is that the Screen Bar Plus sits on top of the monitor. So that means that it's not taking up any space whatsoever on your desk, which really does help me out. The way that it does that is it's got a really nice weighted clip. I'll show you. Let's take it off. Here we go. So you can see it's got, this is just a weight and it just clips onto your monitor and there's, that's really all there is to install it. So if I now just throw this back on top of here. Oh, there we go. And that's all you've got to do to install it. Nice and easy. And the final thing, the kind of pièce de résistance, the difference here between the Screen Bar and the Screen Bar Plus is this little bad boy here. This is the dial. So you can use that to turn it on and off, which is pretty straightforward, but it also does other cool things. So if I just do that, that button is checking the ambient light in the room. That's the reason it turns its own light off. And then it illuminates it as much as it needs to, to reduce the eye strain, it's a big selling point. We can also use the dial. So there's a little button that I can use to drop the brightness of the light all the way down, or I can bring it back up. And if I press that button again, it'll change it to allow me to change the color temperature of the light as well. So if we go this way, it goes really warm towards the orange side of the light spectrum. And if we go the other way, it goes that kind of really clinical looking blue. And I tend to like it somewhere in the middle it kind of matches the uh, the backlight that I've got up there, which I quite like. It comes in this box. It's really well packaged. Uh, everything is, well, there's only like three things to it. So you get the light, you get a USB cable, which plugs into either your monitor or your computer, and you get the dial that's part of the USB cable. And that's it. Oh, and you, you get the weight as well. You've got to clip it into the weight. The instructions are ridiculously straightforward. You can see it consists of A, B, and C. It really is that simple. And one thing that I have found incredibly useful about this is that it comes on with the monitor. So if I knock the monitor off here, you see that the light goes off uh, and the room gets much darker. And uh, when I turn it back on, the light comes back on immediately and remembers the settings that you had last time. So my thoughts on this overall are that I really like it. So it is quite expensive at about 90 pounds here in the UK. Um, and I normally wouldn't personally look to spend that much on a lamp. But now that I have it, let's say that in the future I get to build my own, let's say YouTube office. I've got my monitor. I know I'm going to be working at night. I would definitely add one of these to each monitor that I'm planning to work on. I do think they're that good, but it's one of those things that I think you've got to see for yourself experience the benefits to kind of understand what you're missing. I could get most of what I'm getting here from a normal lamp. There are color changing lamps, but it's just convenience. It, it works for me and I do really like it. And I'll be keeping this and using it for, you know, as long as it lasts. It's not all positive, 
One of the downsides to this, I tend to use webcams to shoot a lot of my tutorial videos. And you can see with this clipping to the top, it means that I've had to move my webcam to a different monitor, which is not bad because it allows me to have a bit of an angle, but it does remove some flexibility from my setup. So yeah, it's not all amazing. There are some downsides as well. So in summary, yes, it's expensive, but I do like it. And next time it comes to creating a full setup for my workspace, I would include one of these. I do think they're that good. So if you want to check the product out, I'll put the link in the description below. So go and have a look. If you liked this video, then do the thumbs up thing. And if you didn't like it, do the thumbs down. It will hurt my ego, but you have that power, so you enjoy it. Uh, if you've got any thoughts on it, then drop a comment down below as well. Thanks to all my super duper patrons over on Patreon. Uh, you guys continue to help me make these videos and I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. So that will do it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video, which hopefully will be coming very soon. Psst, I'm working on a new Maya tutorial. Okay, see you later.